another woodland plant which has been flowering for a little bit. I say flowering, uh, but you could be forgiven for not thinking it's actually got any flowers at all. Because uh, this is dog's mercury and the flowers are, are very unusual. Let's have a look. Now you can see that not only have I got my trusty hand lens, but I've also got the other accoutrement which all good botanists needs, and that's a firm pair of boots to get in the mud. Um, now this says dog's mercury, mercurialis perennis, and I think it's called dog's mercury because um, mercury is an emetic, and I think it's quite likely that if the dog was feeling a bit poorly, uh, it might have well have eaten dog's mercury to make itself sick and recover, get rid of whatever it had eaten that it shouldn't have done, and uh, hence the name. So it's probably an, an emetic. But the, what's interesting about these plants is firstly that they have very curious flowers. They don't really have um, petals at all, um, but the, uh, they, they do actually have uh, um, proper flowering parts. But also that some flowers are male, and some flowers are female. Normal, most, um, most British wild plants, the, each flower is hermaphrodite. It has male parts, it has anthers, and uh, it has um, female parts. Not dog's mercury. Dog's mercury, each plant is either totally male or totally female. The word that we use is dioecious. And um, so in a, in a patch, sometimes it will be all traps. There won't be any ladies at all. Uh, other patches it might be all ladies and no men. This patch is mixing. There's some men and some ladies. So um, we can find one here. Uh, here's one I'm going to pick it. Here's one which is um, a male and I can see that it's got anthers hanging out of what pass for flowers. They're not uh, really much like flowers at all. And the females you can see here because they're now about to produce some seed. Um, so they've been flowering for quite a bit. So it's an interesting plant. Uh, it's um, a classic woodland plant uh, and again it's been flowering for some, some little few weeks. So this is dog's mercury, Mercurialis perennis, uh, and it will carry on, the leaves will carry on um, in the wood um, for many months. You'll see them the same same plant. Uh, we'll, we'll the leaves will carry on after it's flowered, um, perhaps for five, six, even eight months, um, absorbing all the, um, the sun's rays, building up their strength so they can flower in the following spring.